Okay, guys, we're gonna do a quick walk through. This is what we did. We mulched all this. There's our tomatoes and kale. We have red ursa kale. We have so many different tomatoes. We have snow peas right there growing up. More tomatoes and kale. So this is what we do on our downtime. We're trying to start a organic farm and deliver vegetables to our customers that we have in lawn care and landscaping. So far this year is the best year that we've done, even though we're dealing with the pesky groundhog, but I think we're ahead of things. More tomatoes and kale. And then this, I didn't mulch around this one because we're actually gonna pour that off into probably one, two, three, four, five. I can probably get six plants out of it and still leave a, cup, a clump in the middle to spread again. And we're gonna move that around. That is chocolate mint. Some more kale, cucumber starting. Just because we had the seeds, we're gonna plant a lot more of them. Um, here's beans. Hopefully they do all right. They don't really like the water. So it's only down like 50 degrees in a couple of days. This is Rachel's garlic chives, I think. And then we planted our giant cabbage for the school competition. And we're going to do it all organically. So hopefully it's big. So that's a disadvantage if everybody's doing it with fertilizers and stuff. And then here's Rachel's purple basil, I think. And then I'm going to start mulching this, but the same thing all tomatoes and Edge Lupa worm. It is a light green worm, um, and you can see that it causes damage like this and these little holes because it is actually feeding on the plant. It will then, it is caused by the white, white moth that you see. So let me show you here. I did find one and I hope that I can let you guys see this. gonna do the organic way and I'm gonna get the sucker I'm gonna do the organic way and I'm gonna get the sucker today is May whatever. 7th Seven. today's Sunday May 7th since my husband doesn't like to give dates hey guys this is Carl from Apple's family today we are going to not we Rachel's gonna plant all these beans in this aisle We have summer squash be or summer spinach beans. Well, no, those are that's. I know that's spinach. Yeah. Bush beans. Royal Burgundy bush beans. We have some Swiss chard. Some French garden bush beans. Some pole beans. And some more Kentucky Wonder pole beans. Many, many beans. Lots of beans. We also replanted a bunch of mint around the garden. Some cabbages, we mowed, we eated the whole hill. Well, did you show them what happened to the big cabbages yet? No, the groundhog ate the big cabbages, but they'll come back, I think. Yeah, and ate a lot of the cabbages out of this so bed. What, so what you're gonna do with branches, uh, Okay, so Carl is down there and he's planting the tomatoes like we said. And I went around and I wrote on the poles what they were so we can try to keep track. 
So we have some red cherry tomatoes there. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. That, that says homestead. Homestead right there. They're all homestead. Then we have the kale and snow peas. Like I said, I direct seeded the snow peas. So guys, I'm gonna do a little update on the farm as we're going. It's been pretty cold out here. I don't think my tomatoes like the cold weather and the wind. They're kind of not looking their best. Some of them aren't, but those never really did look their best. We have kale all growing here. That's looking really good since the groundhog hasn't gotten it. And I think we have tomato flowers forming. Or buds, but I'm not going to like this cold weather. The kale will though. So we planted, this has been planted for a little while. Can't wait till we get warm days. Um, there's beets there, snow peas, beets. Some more kale. And then in these rows we have same thing, tomatoes, some beans. That's already was planted today. I planted hot peppers along the berm, some zinnias up there, and then we did marigolds. I heard an owl earlier, a woodpecker earlier. So marigolds I planted over here. Let's check on the beets. Some of them are getting their true leaves, which means that we're going to have to thin them, which I always hate doing. Really, Paige? Really. Oh, look at how big this one is. Really, Mommy? Look at it. Really, right? <laughs> Did you guys hear the cow? <laughs> and then a kid repeating it. <laughs> wow, look at how big this baby peach is. More zinnias, another marigold, hot pepper. Just random things we planted in the berm. some peaches. This is our larkspur coming in really nice and then I planted more hot peppers and marigolds all down this berm. Hopefully the hot peppers keep anything in the way if they come and try to eat that. And then the sun's going down so I wanted to hurry up and record this while I have light. All down here are beets, carrots, this is tansy, and it seemed like the ladybugs really like the tansy. I seen a whole bunch on there the other day, but it's kind of chilly out. Then we have some more cabbages up here. Hopefully the groundhog doesn't eat that. So this is our progress. As it goes, it'll get bigger. We'll have a lot more stuff. Yeah, there's all the mowers. It's old Betsy there. She's retired. She doesn't move. She's got flat tires. And I had that one. I think I put 940 hours on that thing until I got to Ferris, which is amazing. I don't know how it lasted 940 hours, but it did. 
And these are her giant cabbages, which they got kind of attacked by the groundhog, but there's still middle in there. So there's still hope. We'll watch them. And here's the other one. It got really bad, but like I said, there's still some in the middle. And here's pepper plants. They don't like the cold neither. And then here's our, what is our, uh, Dianthus. Really pretty. And then what else we did is I transplanted, well, I broke apart off the big chocolate mint here. I dug out pieces of it and replanted one there, one there, one down there. I'm not sure where else. I don't think I planted anything else, but so they can spread there. Then I'll make plants out of them later on by separating them again. And all of our tomatoes. So that's an update on what we've done so far. I think we're doing really well. And we spray everything with fish emulsion. So thanks for watching Happy's Family. Please don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button so you can see what happens next.